Recently, I paid $5 for dinner at a hawker center. $5 doesn't seem like a lot of money but to someone who makes $100 a day, that is 5% of his daily pay. Once upon a time, that was my daily pay too. Considering the fact that $20 goes to his CPF, $5 is actually 6.25% of his take-home pay. This is quite a big percentage. Let us say this person depends solely on his CPF savings to fund his retirement and let us say he hit the FRS 10 years ago and CPF life pays him $1,380 a month from today for life, he would get $46 in pocket money a day. In such a case, $5 is going to be almost 11% if his daily allowance. It is just an example to show how our CPF savings are probably not going to be enough to retire on. If we depend solely on our CPF savings for retirement funding, it is quite possible that we would have to continue working beyond age 65. This is for CPF members who have the full retirement sum at age 55 too. For CPF members who do not have the full retirement sum or even the basic retirement sum at age 55 and if their CPF is the only source of retirement funding, the chance of them ever being able to stop working is almost non-existent. To people who are still unhappy with having money locked up in their CPF accounts and who want their CPF money returned to them because they have no savings to retire on, you have to wake up. You cannot retire. You have to continue working. Now, why did our DPM Lawrence Wong say further enchantments are needed to the CPF system? The government wants to ensure that Singaporeans are able to meet their basic needs in retirement as long as they work and make regular CPF contributions. Mr Wong noted that the CPF system, premised on self-reliance and work, has evolved over the years with the government playing an increasingly larger role in recent years to help Singaporeans earn and save more for retirement. The CPF system is designed to help the masses achieve a basic level of retirement funding adequacy. It is not designed to impoverish its members and it is not designed to make the rich richer. Having said this, for those of us who have had the ability to be less reliant on the CPF system, we should work on building passive income. This is especially if we want to be able to meet more than just our basic needs in retirement. These are topics I blog about regularly and I will leave links to some starter blogs in the description below.